Hello folks, welcome back to the channel, Farmer Envoy Stream here. Here are all the new monsters dropped on the 18th of October 2024. And yes, I'm recording this on Saturday and it should be coming out on Saturday as well. So yeah, as always, some sites will be down below. Yeah, small delay in getting the mod review out because I also used these dropped yesterday around about 2pm here in the UK now, 1pm, 1.30. I was going to get until 6, but then I had to do a couple of things. I had to start recording for the map tour, and that's all done, ready to go now for the uh, gate field or gate house map, and that. Just got the map. And then, yeah, just got things set up because obviously there is a particular mod I'm going to be looking at. Unfortunately, for some reason, it's been removed from the mod hub the Bunker Silo XL and XXL. Maybe it was because it's too big and that. Too big or too unrealistic in terms of capacities and that, I'm not sure on that, but I'm going to be reviewing that last because I spent some time filling the bunker so up. Yeah, the large one that says it can hold 22 milliliters. Yeah, I've done a lot more than 22 milliliters of chaff in that, but anyway, so without further ado, let's get into our new mods. Starting off with, we are looking at the Deutz Far. DX3 series. This is by Blaba. 22.08 megabytes download. Terms with slot counts. These are 12 slots each. What basically we've got is a two-wheel drive and a four-wheel drive version. The four-wheel drive version I've shown off with the front loader attacher. And yeah, so how will you make it looking set up? Of course there is other older style front loaders on the mod hub. That will be far more suited for this kind of style tractor net. But you may. So you find this under vehicles under small tractors go towards the end and there we go so yeah dx3 series two wheel drive and four wheel drive 15,750 and 18,750 2.7 3.2 tons respectively both of them have top speed of 18 miles an hour as i mentioned 12 slots go sound to one on console 84 liters of fuel and the horsepower is between 25 and 71 horsepower so yeah, these are going to be pretty much the same, just besides the differences in, obviously, one's two-wheel drive, and one is four-wheel drive. So yeah, that has a cover, that doesn't. So yeah, actually there is some slight differences, so with the four-wheel drive you do have a cover, yes or no. And so we've got 3.6, 3.7, so 65 or 71 horsepower. Wood brands, trailboard, standards, all that, wides and wise weights and narrows. It's pretty much all the same for these and that, so I'm not going to give them too much. Beacons, yes or no. Front fenders, no or yes. Front weight is standard 140 kilograms, 210, 280, 350, back to standard. Further attached, you've got the Hoyer or the Quickie. Main cutter, so this will change the chassis now. So you got a Darkish, like kind of dark blue, not dark blue, very dark blue, I think it is. Then you fold just an old black, there you go. And for the two wheel drive, very similar. So yeah, you got the covers and that, engines, wheel setups, beacons, front weights, and all that as always. But yeah, so let's see how this performs. Oh, I like that sound. No custom controls or anything like that with these. Yep, have a little nice little get something to go on it. Ooh, that is nice, that is. That I do love. Anyway, so point over here. Lights, yes or no. Indicators. Like so. Maybe a little spotlight there on the back. And yeah, lift four drive. So yeah, I got set up with a front loader in that, so it is a bit bulky in that, but yeah, it definitely doesn't suit it like you know a modern quickie front loader with a older sort of tractor. Yeah, so if you like this, I think it's very common seeing like South America's got that sort sort of a South American vibe with the open cabin in that. But yeah, so it's sort of see roughly how it would look. Obviously, already got a helicopter interruption. But yeah, so we'll see how it works, how it performs in that. And yeah, just checking on mod hub. Yeah, nothing else says. Sun Files using mod it was created by Farmer Duds FD Vasi K98 and Prefab, oh sorry, Prefab KHD BF4L913T engine sound. So yeah, 
that is what the engine sound is used, so it's a prefab engine sound. And obviously, Blau is given the credit, which is fair enough. But anyway, that is the Deutz for the X3 series by Blaui. Next, we got the Lizard HRT pack. This is by Giant FS, 3.87 megabytes download. And what this is, it's a 4 and 6 meter. It says a cultivator. However, some of these, so not the O1s, the O2s, these got a very interesting and unique function. That's so what we'll look at that in a sec. So, so you got a pack of four in that. So you got two that looks like a very normal cultivator, like kind of older style. And you got one that just looks like a hot, a, what was it, eye beams and that, H beams and that. I think it's eye beams or whatever it's called in that. So anyways, you first of all find this under tools and cultivators. In terms of slot count, the O2 versions are two slots and the O1s are three slots. So yeah, the O1s are three slots, the O2s are uh, two slots each. In terms of the weight, it's actually the same between the O1s and O2 versions, but yeah, so 4 meter or 6 meter version. Very good price now, 3 grand and 5 grand respectively, or just under that. Weights, yes or no? Do you need this? Personally, I'll say no. As a bit style, don't get me wrong, but for a kind of cultivator, you want, you want to be as light as possible, to be fair. Main colour, you do have some custom colours, so you've got custom black, matte black, blue, dark blue, red, dark red, uh, red, old red, green, older green, yellow, older yellow, orange, grey, so they're very cheap, but then once you get into the base game, default colours, that's when they open up and come very... Sorry there, my mouth got a bit dry there, Foul voice was sound a bit groggy then, but anyway, so let's go into our class here, so... First of all, I want to go and hook up to the O1, so let's go and grab one of these ones here, so yeah, that's an O1. And right, so let's see, yeah, got lower and that's it, there's cultivators and that is pretty much it, so let's head over to our field, drop you down, and there we go. We are cultivating away. Oh yeah, for four or six of you now, these are very good now, you know, yes, these can fold up, but they're light enough to lift up with like a front loader and that, or whatever, to put onto a lorry, or a f just a trailer in general. But yeah, if we have a look, so yeah, that is a cultivated state we're getting. So yeah, that is that out of the way. Now let's go and grab one of the O2 ones. And I think if I grab the I-beam ones, so... Is it this one over here? I think it is. So yeah, so we see here. We got options to obviously lower cultivator net. But also we've got an option to create fields. So by the looks of it, this seems to be like a culti plow. Sure as as before net. Just double checking. Oh no. I'm not sure there is a difference. So that is creating the seed beds. Compared to that. Ah uh, yeah, because we're see the difference between seed beds and like so. If I just go to the stubble like this. And we're going along. So we do get stones in that, even though I'm not in plowing mode at the moment. So occasionally we'll get some stones, but again, it could be because of this map that where yeah, it is, stones are a bit iffy. Also, occasionally you'll just get your bits of stubble and that. So yeah, now we put into create field. So basically, now we're in uh, what's it? Plowing mode. Well, I say proper plowing mode, but technically this is a plow and that. Anyways, as is. Obviously, you can't really get too complicated, you know, with how far you got the banks and that. We sort of see you are creating fields and that. And again, all does it at 7 miles an hour, I forgot to mention that, but at the end of the day, he does a good job with it. Very simple, very good detailed, as always, and that. 
Right, yeah, so that is the Lizard HRT Pack by Giant FS. Also, a bit of kit, and yeah, I've given a thought to mention the horsepower requirement is 80 to 110 horsepower, so we'll get away with this two pretty key tractors and that, but so yeah, things like the Deutz Fire we just looked at, perhaps you know on that. But I like the idea of it, you know, especially the older style cultivator, normal looking ones, and then the I beam ones, that is <laughs> quite nice. Bit of a weird cultivator. But anyways, on to our next mod. Now on to the Lizard Bolt 752. This is by Vulex. This is 1.19 megabits to download. And what this is, is an older style 2 meter mower. In terms of slot count, it is 2 goes down to 1. And yeah, you can find this under tools, under mowers, like so. And then yeah, go towards the end, 1.5 grand. No color configurations or anything of the sort. Requires 25 horsepower, weighs 200 kilograms, so just too heavy enough to lift. And this is at 4, four miles an hour. But yeah, can't lift steady equipment. So yeah, even I'm using something a bit modern. I know in the um, screenshots I'll show you using the Porsche, the Porsche tractor. But yeah, I think any tractor would do. Oops. I can say bumped into it. And that is a problem when you do bump into it. It can get a bit iffy with the able to attach. But yeah, there we go. Unfold and there we go. Yeah, raise and lower. Actually, yeah, it's a nice sound like this. I actually turn it on. And there we go. We are chopping up our grass. See, it's put into a pile as we go along. That sound. That is a nice sound indeed, that is. But yeah, it does the job. Decent turn radius now. Can't refold it too much. I mean, they, it does the job on tin. And yeah, it's an older style mower. Now, for one and a half grand, requires what? 25 horsepower? So yeah, it's shown using the, I think Porsche was it. I've got to look at the screenshots again. Oh uh, no, I don't think it's the Porsche that it's using. It's an older, another older style red tractor, it is. An old Massey, maybe? Yeah, safe not the Porsche now, but things like the. Zeta and that, that could be used with no problems whatsoever. Well, she probably is the Zeta that's used in that. But yeah, so yeah, Aussie can fold and then drop down. Nice bit of kit in that. Ignore what I've got set up over there. We'll look at that later on. But anyways, not much else to say about it. And that is the Lizard Bolt 752 by View Next. Next. Now for the PTO Power Washer. This is by Kelly Modin. 8.55 megabytes to download, four slots on console, and what we've got here is a PTU power washer. Now, so what we've got in my hand is the actual Karcher kind of style jet washer power washer. Now, but yeah, you have this like PTO kind of pump now, which is only a decorative item. So, as you can see, you'll sort of get your tractor that, hook it up in that. So yeah, you know, you can imagine, you know, there's no, like, water lines or water mains in that. No hoses or anything, but you can imagine, you know, say you're connected to it, and then you're power washing away, I guess. But anyway, so, you'll find this under tools, under miscellaneous. Go towards the end, so yeah, got your PTO power washer, which is, at the end of the day, is a decorative item. Says it requires 20 horsepower, 95 kilograms. No configurations or anything of the sort. And then, yeah, obviously you can purchase the power washer hose, as it is, for 800 bucks and that, so not too bad overall. Yeah, I've got to say, yeah, not too bad. At the end of the day, it does the job what it says on the tin. It is, at the end of the day, just a jet washer and that. The PTO power kind of shaft in that, that says, yeah, it is a decorative item. But yeah, a lot of it is going to get very creative with kind of the storytelling and the role playing. But anyways, that is the PTO Power Washer by Kelly Modin. Next. Now for the Lizard 600kg, this is by Cookson and Bodic 2137. 3.23 megabytes to download, and as you'd expect, it's a weight. Funny enough, it's a 600kg weight. Who would have thought of that? 
But anyway, so slot count is 3 goes down to 1 on console. And you find this under weights, go towards the end, and there we go. A very cheap 600 kilogram weight for just 300 bucks. And yeah, so you got standard, or you're going to have a lot of custom features. So stickers, no or yes. Link balls, no or yes. So that's going to be just like the protected bits on here. Front warm lights, no or yes. Front warm lights too, no or yes. So that's going to be on the side. Then you got your back ones, no or yes. So your back sides. And general lights, no or yes. So it could be lights on the front. Make color changes to the actual barrel. So you got your lizard red. And then that's when you get into your base game colors and that. So feel free to use whatever you wish. Design color changes the frame. So got a normal green as a custom color. And then you got your base game color palettes and that. So yeah, here we are, got our barrels here, and yeah, turn the engine on, on the Zator, lift and lower the weight, and unfortunately, the barrel doesn't rotate, I thought something like this now, you know, how it looks now, you know, especially with the pivot and that, the little hinge on it, you thought this would cut it off, potentially, roll the net, especially when it's on the ground, but yeah, so let's see, it's not rotating at all. That's kind of a bummer, really. We have some rear sh shaders and that on the barrel itself. I'm just going along. Ooh. Ooh, sorry. <laughs> I'm actually going into the case here, but... Yeah, I would have loved to see this roll, but maybe it was a bit too much to get it working. But besides from that, as it is, that a weight of that 600 kilograms it's decent enough for a lot of small tractors and that, you know, especially something like this with the Zeta and that, you know, put a cultivator on this. This ain't a heavy tractor, so, well, I mean, yeah, for example, you see some of those trailers over there in the back and that. Yeah, a little weight now, just a bit of a counterbalance does the job. But yeah, nice little bit of kit. But anyways, that is the Lizard 600 kilograms by Kutzen and Bonik2137. Next. Now for the small trailer. This is by Baki. 9.92 megabytes of download. And what we've got is one trailer that has configurations for the capacity as well as colors. The terms with slot counts it is 5 goes down to 1. And you find this under tools, under trailers, go towards near the end. And there we go. One actual trailer. So yeah, slot count, as I mentioned, 5 goes down to 1. Base weight, 930 kilograms. And even when you add the sides to it, it's still the same weight. Capacity is 1,800. 1,800 with a bit more of a really sick look. 4,400. 4,400 with a solid body on the end. And back down to 1,800. So, in terms of colours, it's really just the older kind of style, so... Make color changes the size of the frame. Then you got the actual frame color itself, or size of the body, I meant, not the frame. But that's your frame color. You got your sheets, so that's going to be the sheet paneling. And then lastly, you got your rim colors. So, first off, different colors different reds, blues, greens, and yellows. Or just a white and a grey. So, got a couple of them here now. So, they do look. <laughs> do look pretty good. Also, tension belts and that, so that is a nice feature. So you can use this, you know, to do a bit of locking. For example, if you're doing like a start from scratch, start from zero kind of esque challenge. Something like this, like I did on No Man's Land, would have been very useful now to load logs onto. But yeah, so there we go. Yeah, let's obviously how this performs, and you know, with one, how it fills up. And then we'll see if we get a log or two onto this. So, in terms of what you can fill up, it's pretty much anything, just normal fill types and that. So, let's go with, I think, in stones now, because that's going to be a heavy one to do. And there we go. So, obviously, we don't have the solid ends on the panel. So, 
I'll see it fills up like halfway net. But if I go over here, I should have some logs if I have not already sold them. Alright, fair enough, I've sold them that, but... So yeah, let's go and get some logs, so just going to chop this down. So there we go, we've got some logs, so... How does it hold up, so... Yeah, I think maybe you need to chop it down slightly, Matt. But you yeah, know, there we go. Got a couple of logs in that, so we've got 3.3 metre length, so... 3.3 metres it is, but I guess you can get away with this 4.2 metre one. Yeah, collisions can be a bit iffy in that, but once you do know, just lose it on, it seems not to be a problem. If I go towards the end here, so... Gonna grab another section of log. Is that light enough? Yes, it is. And yeah, he even put it inside, I think. So let's see how that looks now. So there we go. So yeah, I think that's just gone onto the bottom, right? Yeah, by the looks of it. But yeah, so yeah, you can use this as a trailer to, you know, as a field type in that. Or you can use this as a makeshift logging trailer. Yeah, these are light enough, obviously only a couple hundred kilograms in total in that. But yeah, it handles pretty well for the later in that. And yes, of course it being a one axle trailer, it will just drop when you obviously unload it. But the good thing is, it doesn't, you know, roll away, which for a single axle trailer like that is very good. But yeah, so now let's look at how they look like when you're emptying them, so... Let's go back over here, Nat. So, I think this is fertilizer I got in it, not lime. And yeah, so we unload. And that's how it looks. So, that flap will open for either of these trailers, Nat, obviously. In terms of offloading, it's not the quickest, I will admit. It does take a fair few seconds, just for 4,000 litres, Nat. So, Again, just a little thing to note, but is it going to be a big uh, bummer, big downside? No, not really, just I mean, compared to normal stuff in that, it's different, but I do like these kind of older side traders. But anyways, that is the Swole Trader by Baki. Next. On to our final two pieces of equipment. So these are a new brand called Belts. This is brought to you by Sir Vertex and Agritono, two awesome models. So, first of all, we're looking at the Belts TVB1800. So, these are sorry, tankers. And this is 28.05 megabytes to download. In terms with slot counts, it is. Stop checking. Yeah, 13, 13 slots on console. And yeah, the other ones are 14. Now, so I'll just quickly double check because the names of it is very similar. But yeah. So. 13 slots on console, and yep, yeah, as you can see, two different models you get. So, one is a Surrey spreader, you know, just sprays it out into the wind, and the other one has obviously got the distributor system and that, so it all goes into the hoses and that. So, where do you find these? Obviously, Surrey tankers and that, so under tools, under Surrey tanks, go towards the end. And yeah, so these are 45 and 60 grand respectively. So the TVB 18,000 with or without the incorporated bars. That's the technical word for it. So without the bars, it is 12 meters work width, weighs 5.9 tons. With the bars, it's an extra three tons and an extra six meters in working width. In terms of working speed, nine miles, miles an hour, nine miles per hour. Of course, 180 horsepower. Sorry, there's a bit of a indigestion there. But yeah, so configurations that are pretty much the same in that. So, you've got your piston colours, black or orange. That is all it is. Same with that one. Yeah. Black or orange. Is that the back, I think? Actually, wait a minute. Oh yeah, the pistons are on the front side there, sorry. But yeah, in terms of wheel setups, so yeah, different kind of twin rears, different kind of tyres and that. Rich lines, same mission, same looking, same standard. But also you do have the Rider Maxis. So yeah, if you want a bit of a more chunkier boy, things like that, like the flotation tyres. 
that's also something I would personally go with, just because it helps spread out the distribution of the weight. So yeah, let's go and test both of these out. So let's first of all grab the normal spreader without the incorporate bars. So you've got some controls. So that's for the point there. So L1, right stick left to right does that. And up and down raises and lowers the trailer hitch or the trailer mount. So you can raise it or lower it. Depending on how you want to go. Depends on what map you're on, like kind of the terrain. Whether or not it's got some nice undulations or not. So yeah, obviously you got the option for double application. And obviously that means it will half your speed just to note. Anyways, into the field we go. And let's see, oh, we are spreading our muck about. Actually, I do like the animation of it. It is actually quite nice indeed. And obviously, if you on, that will half your speeds to about 5 miles an hour. But it means you'll get both applications of fertilizer put on. I do like the air hiss now, you know, the disconnecting of the air hoses and that. That realistic hiss you get in that, that I do like. But now onto the one with the distribution bar, so this will tickle the ground and spread it out a bit more fairer than that, so it unfolds. I was once again got your double application, yes or no. L1, right stick up and down, does that. Again, just as the bars. No other controls, just double check. So yeah, let's go and lower said distributor. And yeah, now we are applying our fertilizer. No, now we are. I don't know why I did it just then, but anyways. Let's see, since we're doing a double application, it's half the speed. I do get that difference in texture, so if I put on normal application, there we go, we are speeding up, speed Gonzalez here. And if I go to our map, look at our fertilizer state, so yeah, for normal fertilize, double application state, normal fertilize. So yeah, that I like indeed. But yeah, it's always good to see a new brand, this is a belter of a new uh, a new modern act, nice modern act. Excuse the puns there. But overall, good quality mod, so let's have a quick look of it close up. So, once again, got the air hoses. So, let's move that back a little bit. But, yeah, very detailed. Yep, yeah, sort of, as you expect, a South American brand. A lot more South Africa. Did I say South Africa? I mean South America, no. But yeah, South Af American, South American <laughs> envoy. But yeah, awesome bit of kit in that. These I do like, especially it's like well detailed. The point count is nice in that, by the looks of it now, you know. It actually got a lot of fine details in that. It's even to the hubs now, you know, all the bolts jointing on. Everything is well done. But anyways, that is the belts TVB 80,000 sorry tank sorry spreaders by Belt, Server, Tex, and Agritono. Next. Now for the Belt's TBR 30,000. So this is also by Belt, Server, Tex, and Agritono, as we just looked at the other, sorry, tanker. This is 31.06 megabytes download, and what this is, is initially a 30,000 year trailer. However, so this is a normal dump truck. It also can be converted into distributing solid fertilizer or lime as well as manure so this is a nice bit of kit so first of all you find this under trailer so it's just one mod but it can be configured into three different equipment so there we go the tbr 30,000 so in terms of its requirements 230 horsepower is required weighs 9.9 tons and it has a working width of 60 meters and that's 11 miles an hour so Normally you got your trailer net. However, you can have a fertilizer distributor, so you got the spinning disc and that on the back. Or you can have the solid manure distributor and back to a trailer. We'll set up so you got your twin radios and that, so all this is the different kind of width of the tires and size of the tires. 
Michelin, Standard, Nukian. Get your Forest Kings and that. But yeah, I do love the, the BKT flo flotation versions. Those ones I do like, so... I see I've got all three here, so... If I go into Drone Mosey, yep. I got Fertilizer, Minure, and just a normal Tronet. And if I have a look at my trailers and that... Yeah, these all weigh uh, 3.9 3 tons, and then 33.9 tons when it's filled up with soil fertilizer net. So yeah, let's go over the normal dump trailer net first of all. So yeah, we got sugar beet, oh sorry, sugar beet cut in here. So yeah, L1 right stick up and down does the trailer net, so you can just the pivot of the trailer, and then yeah. Obviously, that's how it looks when unloading. Unload rate is decent enough. But yeah, let's look at how quick this can fill up. So, let's get you down. Stones. Actually, that fills up quite quickly indeed, to be fair. So, yeah, not too bad. Decent fill up in that. So, good quality trade in that. So,. Now, let's look at the fertilizer and, well, the two fertilizer spreaders, solid fertilizer and solid manure. So yeah, we just like that, looked at the survey tank, and now we're looking at the solid fertilizer net, so there is no adjustable to the working width, so it's 60 meters or nothing. So yeah, go into our field over here. Helps you if you unfold, so... There we go, just opens up the flap on the back. And there we go, we are putting down our fertilizer at 11 miles an hour, 16 meters wide. Got to say, I do like that animation so you know with the spin disc and that. That does look very nice indeed. Especially just like how it just like rolls out that, so wait a sec. You know, so yeah, the flap opens up when you unfold it. Comes down via a conveyor belt almost, now it gets chucked out via the conveyor belt. And then yeah, you got your spin disc, which is very hypnotic, and dumps onto the ground. That is a very innovative that is, so that is that. Now let's go and grab our manure spreader now, so yeah, it's gonna be that of our equipment, then we've got sheds, and then the weird bunker side to look at, but we'll look at those in a sec. Anyways, on to the muck spreader net. There we go. Once again, unfolding that. Double application, yes or no. L1 racing up and down adjusts the pivot of the trailer net. Or you know the height of the trailer, so. Obviously, it's not a half up application, so what this means, you'll be able to distribute manure at 11 miles an hour, 60 meters wide. And then, if you put on double application, it slows it down to 12 miles an hour. Actually, one thing I do want to test that it's the what's it, the line, because with a lot of these trays and that, you do get. Well, not these trays, but a lot of, you know, spreaders and that, the line we're working with is far different to the solid fertilizer and that, so, of course, doesn't help sometimes when this happens. Modders don't put the actual description of it in them in the description that, or in terms of the shop configurations and that, like the shop options, where you can sort of see the working whips and that. Yeah, it doesn't always tell you how much it can spread the line and that, because yeah, lime is far, far heavier than that, so... Lime, please. Actually, you know what? That is way too slow for the map. Well, yeah, that's the map one. There we go, that's far better. Oop. Excuse me. But yeah, let's go into the fields. So, I will reset you. So yeah, if I get into the middle, like how I was with the tire tracks and that. Okay, it helps if you fold once again. 
and lime, so it's up and down the same amount. Yep, actually yes it is, so it is 60 metres all the way around. It's not that you know 60 metres for the fertiliser and that, and then 12 metres or 8 metres for the lime. But yeah, 3,000 years, you will go through line quite quickly in that. But yeah, I've got to say, overall, good quality mods in that, the Belzers. They're very Beltastic. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, again, sorry for the puns. But anyway, so this was the Belts TBR3000 by Belts, Arantono and Zer Servertex. Now let's go on to our two cow barns, and then we'll go on to our Behusif Bunker Silo. Now for the Wishkovian Cow Barn, this is by Sitsi and EE. This is 51.79 megabytes of download. In terms with slot cows, it is 47 goes down to 2 or 3, I think. But yeah, what we've got is an old post style cow barn, holds 20 cows. And as you can see, is quite small in that. In size, does accept bells in that for the straw and manure in that. So yeah, and the box is just here, holds 20 cows. Without further ado, first let's go into the build bow. So yeah, it's 50, no sorry, 47 slots goes down to 2. And yeah, it costs 50 grand, the maintenance of 10. So yeah, over here, got your milk output. And then your surrey that is around the back, I think this one is. Yeah, it's around the back for your surrey. Aldi has no, you know, manure silo or anything like that, a manure pit. So yeah, these doors, these do not open by the looks of it. What about from this side here? So yeah, got gates here and that. So these are, you know, acts like as a storage net. Ah yeah, so these will open from the inside. Fair enough. Light switch, as you've just seen, is just here. Lights on, lights off like so and then yeah open that one do love that sound of the animations and that also got a door as well open that and there we go up into the loft and that a very a little lofty space lights on well, that cab comes on individually that that is a uh, very nice then you got your little hatch to the outside of the world so you know you can load your bells up into here and then if you want, drop your bells down. Can we drop through, please? But oh, nope. Can't drop through that, unfortunately. But yeah, you sort of get the idea of it, you know, drops down and that. And there we go, so yeah. Yeah, so these will open from the outside, but won't open from the inside. And again, open that one again. So I think if I close that one, yeah, more little errors in that, and then yeah, into the actual main cow barn itself. Obviously, again, more doors in that, no store stuff in that if you want to. But yeah, so this is a very small cow barn, as you can see, just by the scale of a large bell in that. It's like the largest normal bell you can get, 180 centimeters, so yeah, it's pretty small. But as you can see, milk capacity is 4,000 litres, straw is 12,000 litres, slurry. I'm not sure if that's filled or not. So no, yeah, about 20,000 litres for the Surrey. And yeah, your feed in that is 10,000. So, yeah, not too bad overall in that. I mean, it is what it is. It is a very small post style cow barn. But it is very well detailed. Hence why it is a high megabyte size. And the high slot count is extremely detailed. I do love the brick and mortar kind of style buildings, especially the Polish kind of style. These I do like. But anyways, that is the Rishkovian Cow Barn by Sitsi and EE. Next. Now for something a bit more close to home, we got the large UK Cow Barn. This is by MS Modern. 39.89 megabytes download term. Swift slot count. It is 21 goes down to 1, I think. We'll have a look in a sec. But yeah, so this is a large UK cow barn. This can hold 150 cows. Let's see, you've got your feed inputs over here. These will accept bells and that. But also, one good thing, this has a inbuilt manure pit. 
So yeah, I think that is 63,000 years. I think that is the maximum capacity, I think. Yeah, so if I go forward another hour, is that the maximum capacity or not? So 6345. So yeah, not even close to the maximum capacity. Haven't really looked at it, what it is yet. But yeah, also you've got shed lights turn on or off. That is a very nice. It's gotten very gloomy all of a sudden, so I do apologise for that. But yeah, nice bit of kit in that. So, under animals, 100 grand, obviously it costs in that. So yeah, quite expensive, but for a small a small footprint, this holds 150 cows. That ain't too bad, especially for a UK cow barn. But yeah, so we go into our animal section. So, these will hold 60,000 years off feed. 100,000 years off Surrey, 38 or so thousand years of straw, 60-ish thousand years of milk. So yeah, actually yeah, so see, straw can go in, so this was accepting the straw bells earlier, so why ain't it now? Because yeah, this was like accepting it earlier, and it was like somewhere at the front. Obviously, as soon as I start recording, it does all want to cooperate. And there we go. So yeah, the trigger for it is a bit high now, but once you start of get going, you can drop it down and it will fill in. So yeah, obviously, I was going to say, where did that manure go? Just slightly spawned in that. So, I'm going to hop into our class here because I want to test, you know, the output for the milk in that. So, I think the output for the milk is here on the left. Your looks like you can ex excavate from the inside, so actually you know what let's go and test the manure, shall we? So there we go. But yeah, I apologize for it also getting a bit gloomy. I do try to use my views when it's nice and bright. So alright, there we go. Yeah, I did go ahead skip time. And where did the manure come from? 40, yeah, because it was like 64,000 years, wasn't it? This is just now. And now it's gone down less than that, so... Maybe cause it, maybe the math has given up. But yeah, so you back up that. The icon is just into the manure heap itself, so yeah, there we go. So yeah, if you want to, you can extract this with, you know, a, a loader and that. But yeah, it was like 64,000 lire, so... Is it because just the math is given up, or what? Maybe because now I've got some empties, this will come back again. So yeah, skip to 10 o'clock that. No, so literally we did loss, um, manure there, weirdly. Why? I do not know. But yeah, as you can see, decent now, decent amount, so let's go and uh, put the times back down to times one. Because yeah, now I've got a bit of daylight, and actually it's nice and sunny now, so the magic of uh, skipping the head. So yeah, that is that. Now, I want to test the, I'm uh, not sure now, the manure and milk, so our milk tankers now over here so excuse me so yeah first of all let's go and test the milk so we do have a full load of milk yep yeah, fill up as you expect and let's go and test the survey one so we'll grab our tanker here Again, just want to test, you know, make sure everything is working fine in that. Especially being the UK cow barn. These I really do like in that, so there we go. Yep, for that survey, so it all works in that. As you see, I may have gone to like, gloss over it, but yeah, do have your gates in that. Yeah, just yeet the class out of the way. Minor, is it phasing through? Actually, yeah, the, yeah, the legs are phasing through, so yep. Minor little things here and there to note. Overall, good enough. Open that gate. Nice to sort of see. Drive in. Fill up with your. So, again, that is 
very missed on FS22 Nat. The ability to you do actually have a cow barn or whatever and have manure that. But anyway, that is the large UK cow barn by MS Modding. Next. On to our final mod now, and this is the Bunker Solo XL and XXL. This is by Jojo Gamer Studios. This is 7.36 megabytes to download, and as of at the moment, Jojo's first mod in FS has been removed from Mod Hub Net. Why, I do not know. If I had to guess, maybe because of people moaning about size, potentially. Because there's no giants to do remove mods when people start moaning and moaning and bitching, basically, for a lot of time it can be for stupid and minor reasons. Things, you know, like a, ooh, scary reaper now on side of a combine harvester and that, but that's that to the side. Or could it be just because this one here, the XXL, the largest one, it is absolutely mahoosive. Unless you're on a open flat map like I'm on No Man's Land, the ability to place this down is, yeah, not a lot. So, yeah, this one was my first attempt to set it up, and, I, and yeah, did have minor issues with the terrain, but that is more because of the map. Again, I can't really say you can have this on all maps now because, for one, it's hard to test it on other maps where this is such a large area. Also, the terrain on this map is very, yeah, book board to it. So, yeah, but yeah, just for scale. Got your player over here, and I got a John Deere trailer with 50 million litres of chaff here. 50 or 40 million, whatever, net. But yeah, that is a large scale net. So, in terms with slot counts, it's, I think it was five net. Yeah, five slots each. In terms with capacities, it says approximate capacity. So, the XL, which is the one over here. That's 2.8 million litres. I'm going to put that to the test in a minute. And uh, for the double XL, it says 22.4 million litres. However, I spent uh, long enough, let's put it that way, long enough setting this up. So here we are, we've got 51 million litres. 51 million litres. 51.151 million litres. Why in the world do you have that much chaff in that in one go? I do not know. Unless you're on like PC in that and you know on a massive 16x map maybe in that. Or you're just on console night and you love hoarding chaff in that. Again possibility in that. But yeah let's just show you the scale of this. So you find this under buildings, under silo. So this costs 350 and 750 grand respectively. The maintenance of 15, so that is a large one as it is. 2.8 million years it says it will hold, but that I will test. And for the large one, I am zoomed out as much as I can. And it's a bit hard to see the edges, so this is pushing the limits of the game. The lights, I am assuming these are automatic, comes on at night. So yeah, I'm going to get that one finished and compacted in a sec. Also, I do use with my bunker silos the bunker silo by top ace 888. And these will get you to these tipping free areas. So if you put these down like so, this will stop, you know, it from borking out. Okay, so maybe some minor issues here, potentially. Yes, changing the textures there a little bit on the ground, so hopefully it doesn't have an impact too much on it. So yeah, there we go. I'm placing these roughly down. So yeah, let's go into our John Deere here. So you can see there on the bottom right, 50 million litres. So yeah, one, two, three, four. The fifth trailer is just gone. So yeah, this did have the ability to fill. Yeah, now it has the ability to fill that. So yeah, I was just a bit concerned in that, you know, because of the borkiness of the colours and that. So let's offload these. There we go. And on to the first one. So yeah, it says 
no, sorry, 2.8 million years. But yeah, I'm going to put that to the test now. So, so far that is what? 1 mil? So yeah, 227. 24, so yeah, 2476. So yeah, yeah. Is it 2.8 million years? No, it's a lot more than that. But yeah, again, I am being crazy. I am being a bit stupid with this and that, I will admit. Yeah, four, yeah, four, six, four, six, five, six, one, two. So yeah, at the moment we're on four point eight eight million years at the moment. So yeah, first one it said twenty, was it two? Yeah, twenty two point four mil. I spent many, many times in that, and that is fifty one mil. Maybe get another mil, maybe out of it. But for this one here, at the moment we are on six million seven million so yeah is it yeah definitely not 2.8 mil so bear me a sec whilst I'll go and finish filling this up as much as I can yeah I've got to be careful now but overall actually it's quite good actually as well because it's not leaking out to the sides and that which is hard to say for what many bunker silos because yeah, I think he's still, we've still got broken bunker silos on the mod hub that Giants has not removed in that. But yeah. Oh, wait a minute. I think I've just broken the sound. Oh no. There we go. We've got sound again. Yeah, for a minute there I thought I broke the sound, but yeah. At the moment we're on 9 million litres, so yeah. Definitely not 2.8 mil, so yeah. As I've already said, let me give me a minute in that. Let me fill this up to the max and then. I'll come back, <laughs> see how much we can actually fill this up with. But yeah, sound is definitely breaking now. So, alright, we're done compacting, and yeah, definitely weighed in way more than 2.8 million litres. I have 12.2, yeah, was it 12.22 or something on those lines? Yeah, 12.256, so. Way more than 2.8. I did have some minor leakages on the side. Let's sort of see how it looks. Does it go right to the wall? And if you go to the edges, you do lose a little bit. In terms of phasing through, a uh, little bit here and there. If I go into this one. Because, yeah, since these ones, these sizes are so large in that, I'm going to need a tractor that can do 200 miles an hour to be able to get around. So. Is there phasing through clippings on this side? Actually, so far so good. Into the cornfield and that. Okay, this was a mistake I've had at all set up in that, but... Going right up against it. There's no like, weird clippings in that, so this is the better bunker side of the two, I think, because... You get no clipping, I didn't have any issues, you know, with you know, things phasing out and that, so... But yeah, so this one here, I spent a lot of time filling this up, and well, yeah, to fill it up, what, 100 million litres of chaffing that essentially what it was? Ooh, can I get through here? Uh, yes. Yeah, to fill these up, this did take a long time, hence why the delays and that as well. Yeah, it's what it is now. But yeah, so go to the edges and that, so... Obviously, yeah, again, there's more spaces to fill things up. Yeah, I'm like right on the edge, compact in, and absolute nothing's leaking out, so this is the better bunker side of the two. So now let's go and blanket the silo. Because yes, now we know, yes, you can fill up, you know, 50 mil, 20 mil, whatever bunker silos. But how do they perform when you want to take them out? There we go, bunker is blanketed. We'll take a quick rest, because, yeah, again, there's various mods and that, like, things like the variable working with mods and that came up recently. That would be a good thing to use to fill this up and that, or to empty this, but I'm not going to be using that. I'm just going to use a, I think maybe a belt or something like that. But yeah, so 92% fermented. Skip along, please, so 92 And 
there we go. We are done fermenting. So yeah, so see, open the silo. So yeah, got this side over here. Maybe you can pretty much open this other side. So yeah, you can do, but why would you do that? Because you ain't gonna be able to do jack squat bit. But now you can sort of see 12.18 millimeters off silage. Is that 12.15 or something like that? Or 12.25? Again, back into here because it's too far to walk. Yeah, I've got to be careful with this of not tipping that, so... Open this one now, so... Did we lose anything? 51 point, nope. Didn't lose anything there, so... Yep, yeah. how would you extract this? Yeah, wheel loaders, buckets, many mods that can help you, so... I'm going to have a quick look at something, see what I've got. Ah, yes, completely forgot about this. The update to the Colossus pack and that. Yeah, so now we've got something that can do holds 5 million litres, so this could do a temp for this, so... The lights on, please. Right, yeah, doing the lights on. So yeah, now let's go and fill this up, so... Okay. Um... Something went a bit wrong there, I think. Yeah, I think now we've got a, an instant paywall, I think. Uh, yeah, this wasn't supposed to go this way, in that. Not at all. So, yeah. We'll open up these side of that. But yeah, we're not able to... Ah, right, so yeah, maybe, and then I figured out why this was removed that from the mod up and that. But still, I gotta say, what's that, 4 million litres almost? Is it because of what I'm using, or is it because this is just broken? Maybe a bit of both, I'm not sure. Yeah, at the moment we're just getting the sheet wall in that. Alright, fair enough. Let's go and try... It just doesn't matter a sec. So let's go and stump all that, please. So yeah, now let's go and try... Okay, stop dumping. Let's try fill this up. Ah, right. Again, getting the same issues as that. Maybe, again, I've done this so stupid I've broken it. Alright, okay, fair enough. Let's try one last thing. Let's go and grab a bucket in that. So, go to front loaders, go to John the Universal Bucket. And yeah, there we go. So make sure I've got everything. Yes, please. Because, yeah, maybe it's because of, you know, sometimes with bunker silos you need to start excava excavating it and that. Again, I do not know. At the moment, I am just purely guessing. Take two of this. So, yeah, let's go and try to do whatever we can. Yeah, I'm glad I'm not saving this because, yeah, this will be... T it won't take a while to clean. I'll just go down to skip mode and paint over this, but still, so... Alright, fair enough, here we are, and... Again, that may be why it was removed from the mod hub and that, because it's absolutely broken and that. So yeah, the bits that you can open will work, but then... So yeah, I may have got to figure out why this is yet removed, because you've still got 47 milliliters and... Again, I like the concept of it, the idea is good, but... Ah, no, 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 Okay, fair enough, no. Forget about what I said. So yeah, you just need to... Ah, that's it. Ah, fair enough. Ah, uh, yeah, so... So yeah, why was it removed? I do not know. But now I've done that... Let's go and grab you again. 
So now, in theory, this should just be able to empty straight away. Because, yeah, sometimes with bunk silos, because, yeah, I've done this before with forge wagons, just like normal ones, or not stupid, unrealistic ones. You need to start unloading it with like, a bucket or something. Now, if I can get up here. See, I'm trying to get up here before I turn this on. Okay, right, screw it, let's just turn it on. Ah, so yeah. So, see what I mean? Yeah, it's not broken. No. Will I say it's broken? Definitely not. Just. Yeah. User. Yeah. Yeah. If you want to try to do this unrealistically again, I'm demonstrating on how this could or couldn't work. And overall, the idea is sound and that just. Can be a bit tedious, you know, to empty 50 million litres of silage in that. And for fuck's sake, I forgot to take the thumbnail of this. Oh, I've got to redo this again. Ah, oh, fuck's sake. Oh, anyways, that's, that's going to be it for me afterwards, Now That'll do with afterwards. Dang it. Completely forgot about that. But yeah, you sure we get the concept of it? Overall, it's a good mold in that. Why is it removed? Yeah. This is probably why, but again, something like this on sickness. Yeah, you do have to work away around with it. But anyways, that is it for all the mods on the 17th of October 2024. But anyways, as always, if you found this helpful and informative, so in shape or form. If so, smash the button, click on the number below. If you want to share some, please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, then please consider. But for it to do, have a nice day. But for now, it's me, Farmer Envoy Stream, and I'll see you all very soon.